relation to the ball. You have to attack the goalkeeper. What's up guys, I'm excited because today I'm going to be having a training session but not in my garden. I'm going to be linking up with Mikhail Arteta and Soccer Manager 2023 for a coaching session on finishing. So I'm going to go and get ready and I'll see you guys there. Let's go. <laughs> For this video, I've teamed up with Soccer Manager 2023 and I've decided to test my skills against the official Soccer Manager 2023 ambassador, Mikael Arteta. Soccer Manager 2023 is the ultimate management experience with over 25,000 licensed players. Sign players, pick tactics, play matches in the realistic 3D match engine and more. With a host of official licenses, you can manage some of your favourite clubs from Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Inter Milan and many more. You can even create your own football club from scratch through the brand new Creator Club feature. Check out this team that I put together. And you can control so much more from training, tactics, transfers to youth academy, club finances, and even building a world-class stadium. So be sure to download the game from the App Store and Google Play Store, or click on the link in the description below. So this first one, we're going to look at positioning of the keeper as you approach. So Mikael, over to you, talk to me. In move in relation to the ball. As you are approaching to him right now, he's already modified his position, so he's coming out. Yeah. So the best moment to do it, go back, please, is the moment he's coming. Yeah. Come, 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 and he's not set. That's the moment that you ah. keep ready. So look to strike before the keeper gets into his position. You already have the advantage, you already have a distance. So yeah. if the keeper is on the move, he cannot react as quickly and efficiently. So when he's set, he will react and he will be more efficient. So you have to try to do exactly the opposite. Right, let's try some. Yeah. I'm looking to strike before the keeper sets because then he's less agile and less likely to save the shot. With your left, and that first touch has to take one away. Exactly. And then do the movement, attack his back or pull away, up to you. You have to attack the goalkeeper. You have to use your body. Always control the one with the furthest feet. Yes. So you can use this one to protect. Yeah. To take him away. Position it just like a Simple. That's key. So always control with your furthest foot from the defender. The trigger for you is when I turn. Okay. Now. Good save. Better. Much better. So this one's working on disguise, so I'm going to pretend I'm going for the far post and you go near. You have to move in here. The next touch is backwards and in diagonal. That touch is actually backwards and diagonal, away from the goal. These are key points that you'll see at the top level. That touch, if it's straight, the defender can get a foot in. Backwards and diagonal. Okay, let's, let's have a go. I'm going to try a few with this. Tell me what I'm doing Do another gesture just to fake another fake and one more touch, then he will jump into that. One forward, here, back and back. Ready? Go. Back. Great. Well done. Oh, pulled it. Why have I dragged that? What have I done wrong there? Crossing the, the ball is too far on too the far. second touch. The ball is too far from you. Uh -huh. So when you are trying to do that, you have no balance. Okay. You shift in your whole body and bring it back. One, two, and the You have to go in front. Okay. You see a lot of top level strikers deliberately striking through the defender's leg yes. as they stretch. Yeah. You coach this? Yeah. You sneaky man. <laughs> <laughs> So if I put it there, and he saves it, what is going to happen? If he parries the ball, bam, tap it. You don't have the angle to be the keeper. Yeah. Sure, put the ball high or put the ball across low. Love if that. If you put it here, look his hands. He needs to react here. And if not put it across, if you pass the ball there, then it's a rebound. 
That's goal. If you're gonna go near post, go high, aim top, because then the keeper has to do that, it's a harder save. Or go low and across. So we're gonna work on that, either high and near or low and across. Let's go. Step to the left foot and then put the ball in the top corner here and across. And I will be arriving there for the back. Okay. Go. Score. If he saves it, I'm arriving there. Okay. okay? Perfect. Nice. That's the one. Yes. Mikhail said, if you are going to shoot from that sort of angle, go low and across the keeper. And the reason is, the keeper might get a hand to it, and your teammate can finish off. The ball is in the air, inside the box. But a lot of times. Ball goes over the bar. I'm going to head the ball. Ball goes over the bar. No chance to score. You have to hit the target. When the ball is in the air, yes. try to bring the ball back to the ground. And then you have every chance to hit the target. Just make contact with the ground. That's it. Sounds so simple, but it's such a key piece of advice. So we're going to work on that now. So I'm going to cross different types. The ball will be bouncing. Yeah. Just attack the ball. Always attack the ball. And down. And down. And with the head. And down. Okay. And you see. Let's go. He said, aim down, he goes top ins. <laughs> One more, one for you. Now attack the ball. Ah, see, I've not aimed down, that's why it's gone over. You know what we do with the players? Every time you hit the ball over the bar, 500 pounds. 500 pounds? Yeah. Ah. Okay, I'm hitting it down this time. You make sure you don't. No, I thought it was 500 pounds. Yeah, 500 pounds, fine, I'll hit it up again. I was trying to hit it down and it's gone. Do you know what it is? I'm just trying to be like you. I see you did the top bins and I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a great bit of golden advice from the gaffer. When you're striking from across, strike the ball downwards. Otherwise it's a 500 pound fine because you, you can have no chance to score. You yeah. know. Do you have any advice for young players watching who don't really have access to high level coaching? Mm. Just tips to be a better player. O outside of the basic stuff, mm. some advanced, something golden for them to go away with from watching this video i think the golden tip is that this is a funny game and the more you practice the better you become Can't but there is no secret practice 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 and practice and you will become better but whenever i hear that i agree i always think is there such thing as too much practice i don't know the answer you what do you think, I don't think so. but just the right thing so your body has time to recover well, you have to look after your body, obviously, but yeah. there is so many things that you can practice. You can find physicality in your technique, in your tactic, in your game understanding. And the most important thing you have to practice is your inner talk. It's how you talk yourself. Yes. Because that's going to rely on your trust, your confidence, and how you're going to become. If you don't have it here, yeah. you won't have it in your feet. Because unfortunately, the signal goes from here to there. To there, yeah, not the other way around. There's a lot of negativity that can come with football, you know, um, as criticism. Man. And you're, you're so right about the mental strength. Do you have to speak positively to yourself in your mind as well? 90% of the thoughts that we have are negative. So it happens to the coach, it happens to the owner, it happens to the player, it happens to the yeah. master, to everybody. Yeah, We are not different and we have to work on that. Because we damage ourselves unnecessarily, yeah. expecting things that they actually never happen. So believe in yourself and again, practice and practice. Don't neglect up there. Is it so true? I was, I was the same when I was young. I thought it's all about technique, practice, practice, train, train. Not once as a child did I ever think that this should be also a priority. Thank you, brother. That is going to resonate with so many people watching this, I promise you. Okay, so for this segment, we're going to be putting together our 11 aside teams. The best of the best that Mikel, you've ever played with, and for me, that I've ever filmed with. So there's going to be some heavy hitters 
in these teams and there's only one rule and that is if one of us picks a player the other one cannot have them so there's an element of getting in there first so Mikel I'll let you start I just start goalkeeper Iker Casillas oh it's good it's good I'm going Thibaut Courtois good okay as a right back I go to Carlos Puyol oh he's gone he's gone there I can tell, because you said right back, I'm, I'm guessing you're going four at the back. I'm going to go three at the back. Okay, I'm going to go Virgil van Dijk, centre back. Wow. Okay, centre back, Frank de Boer. Oh, he's going legends. He's going legends, legends. PK. Great. As a leader, as a person, as a player, the other centre back, Maurizio Pochettino. Oh, you've got some leaders. Wow. Um, I'm going to go primary of Ferdinand. Yeah. That's some back four. Yeah, that's a back, back three, back sorry. Three, yeah. <laughs> okay. At left back, I'm going to go Gabriel Heinze. Okay. Argentina. I'm already on to my midfield and I'm going to start with Clarence Siebel. Not bad. My holding midfielder, Xavi Alonso. This is these teams. My gosh. Okay. Okay, okay. Cloud Makaleli. He's my holding, so. Wow. <laughs> right at the midfielder, Xavi Hernandez. I wish I'd filmed with him. He would be in my team, but I've never, <laughs> never worked with him. Okay, okay. I'm going. Oh, I don't. It's basically Yaya Torre or Stevie G. Oh, this is so hard. Stevie G, Stevie G. Prime Stevie G. Left at the midfielder, Andres Iniesta. No, he's <laughs> another one. I wish I had him. Wow, I mean, I think that's the greatest team of all time, by the way, that Barcelona side with Xavi and Iniesta pulling the strings. That's the best I've ever seen football played. Okay, okay, okay. Wingers, Ronaldinho. <laughs> Go, Ronaldinho. Did, it was my turn, no? <laughs> oh, no. What? Because I was, I was going to say Ronaldinho too. Oh, wait, whose turn was it? So it's your turn then. My turn. Yeah, Thank it was. You so much. Unfortunately, my left winger is Ronaldinho, <laughs> who I play with at PSG. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh wow okay okay that's throw me i'm going with neymar claudio canigia is an argentinian legend and they will be mbappe yeah different level isn't it <laughs> i'm saying mbappe as a nine i'm gonna play a player that he was incredible in my time here he was going on he had an amazing oh, year yeah. and he's a player that as a nine he's got everything that Cristiano, he's gonna be. No, he's my nine. He's, <laughs> he's my nine. Cristiano is my nine. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Cristiano. You got one. That's more. it. No, I'm done. Three you four, can't be. Four, four three three. Yeah, midfield three: Xavi Alonso, Iniesta, and Xavi. Ronaldinho. Wait, so I'm got... Percy and Canicia. I tricked you, so I I was able to decide Ronaldinho. So I said two players. After Iniesta, I said Ronaldinho, but you didn't know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's playing tactical mind games, even in this. So I've got one more player left. Yes. Okay, I'm going to have to settle with Messi. <laughs> question is, which team wins? That's the question. Your team wins. You think? I think, so. I think so too. But it's a lot better having actually played with them versus made a, a video with them one time. So if it was players I played with, then... Butter you. Destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget you can download Soccer Manager 2023, links in the description below. And in the meantime, all that remains to be said is love, peace and tactics. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much.